Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to use your PlayStation 4 controller in place of an Xbox 360 controller to control most PC games. The first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is to plug it in, and it uses plug and play, so it'll install automatically. That part's pretty easy. And once you get that done, you're going to want to download two separate files. Both links are going to be in the description. The first file is x360ce.exe. This is the application that emulates the Xbox 360 controller. And the second file is a DLL file that you're going to use in place of the original DLL file. So what you're going to do is you're just going to copy both of these files. And you're going to bring it over to whatever game you're playing. Find the EXE of the game and paste it into that folder. Then all you got to do is just double click on it. It'll open up. It'll tell you. It'll ask you to create an INI file. Press yes. And this comes up saying, oh, hey, you got a new controller. Press next. Wait for that to search. And I think it searches automatically and finds the proper configuration. Now, if this doesn't work, there's another way to do it. All right, there we go. So it's it's um, it's automatically loading the configuration here. Press finish. And don't worry about this. This is not a problem. Just press OK and skip it. OK, so this automatically comes in here. And you can see that all the buttons are currently working. There you go. So all the buttons are automatically mapped. And if that doesn't work, if they're not automatically mapped, just go down here and choose Logitech Cordless Rumble Pad 2. Press load and then press save. So I'm pressing save. Then you can exit the game and it should work. And you can do this with any game. All you get to do is go to the particular directory for the game, find the exe file, and paste these two files in. Open up the configuration and configure it. Now you can also, once you get that done, you shouldn't need to configure anymore. You can take this thing right here, bring it back over, and it doesn't matter, you can copy and replace it. But these three files you should be able to use on any game now. Throw it in there and when you when you turn on the game, your PlayStation 4 controller should automatically be recognized. As an Xbox 360 controller that is. So I'm just going to boot up Dishonored right now and I'll show you that it's actually working. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to get when you start up your game is another prompt telling you that the configuration file is not right. Just ignore it, it's not a big deal. When you start up, everything's going to be fine. You're going to hear a little ding that just tells you that it's actually working. And then you can just use your controller. As you can see, it says X here to purchase downloadable content. I can come over here and I can do whatever I want with the settings. It, you can see right bumper and left bumper are being shown here. And you can just go in and play the game like normal. Okay guys, I am now in Dishonored and as you can see... All the prompts that show up are going to be in terms of an Xbox controller, as well as the menu right here. You can see on the right, B and X. And you have your D-pad on the side here where you can set things. And everything works great. It works exactly as if you're using an Xbox 360 controller. Alright guys, so that's the tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.